Okay, we're back at the uh, wine decanter. This is still very wet, but we're, uh, I think it's dry enough to put the spout and stuff on. Um, you see, we got uh, kind of pick a spot. We want it to be fairly high, but not too high that you, when you pour it, the wine comes out the top. So we're going to go about a third of the way down. Start with our hole. I'm going to take that, trim this up a little bit. I want this to sit at a slight angle up. So we're going to need to cut some of the top off. Let's see how that works. That looks good. Now I usually put four or five holes, depending upon the size. You don't want one big hole. You get too much gurgling. Usually four or five work. Two more here. Okay, we know where it's good, that's the top. I'm wet this, put a little water on it. And then first I'm going to push down on the sides. Kind of get it shaped. It's about what I'm looking for, it's nice and straight. You don't really need to score this. Oops, heads in the way. You don't really need to score this because it should probably work a little better. Okay, we'll take our sponge. Clean the edge up a bit. Now I have this little tool. Uh, it's just a piece of metal. And I mounted a little wooden ball on the end. It really comes in handy for pushing on the inside of this type of wet. All I'm doing is where I pushed on the rim, careful not to fill the holes back in. See where you're pushing. That just helps the, the joint. Like I said, anywhere that you end up pushing back in, Here's our, you see right now it's a little thick and that's because it's flared out. But I'm just going to take that little wire cutting tool to start with. Just kind of cut that sharp edge off. Just 
it around that. Check it. There's that. All right. Pull that out. All right. There's the spout. There's the top. Now I'm going to go with a handle. I've already thrown a handle. That's the handle. A lot longer than what we need. And it's going to kind of now we want to line up the spout with the handle. This with a little water. You want to be very careful here because this is still pretty soft at the top. need a really big handle, it just has to be pretty beefy for the size. I think I'll put a little, a little ball at the top of the handle, just more for looks than anything else. Okay, let's back up. You can see we got a nice flow all the way around with the spout, the handle. And then once this goes in, I'm just going to set that in very lightly because it's still a little wet. It's got a nice shape. I am going to take, I'll probably alter the base a little more something you want to do while it's fairly soft. I'm just going to take this, just pick a couple spots, push and lift. Okay, there's our one of our wine decanters. Uh, this one here I did the other day. It's a little different shape. We have the uh, same sort of lid for the spout. Now this one here I just dimpled the sides. Let's see if you can see that in the shape of the sides there. And that's to more or less to work as a handle. It's a little lot more than I think we would be comfortable, but it's a nice size that you can actually wrap your hand around. And right now it's still green, so it'll shrink some more. Okay, this is John from Pottery Works. Hope you enjoy my videos, and we'll be back soon. Thanks.